Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yumi Shan. Today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2024. Now of course, before we begin the video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy, I want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be down in the description below. But with that being said everyone, let's get right into it we have a lot of excitement stuff to go over in today's video so let's get right into it and the first thing that we will be taking a quick look at is the brand new lego marvel magazine which is currently available and this includes one minifigure and that is green goblin it is by no means a uh, very special figure it is a pretty common one it has been uh, featured in quite a lot of sets so it isn't nothing really too special here however if you don't have the figure then I guess it is a nice way to get it and it also does come with a little bill for the glider as well which is fine i believe that is the same glider that is included throughout most of the sets that he's included in however i think that they've slightly modified a few of the colors uh, for the flaps and such and changed them into purple instead of usually having the uh, light green uh, but overall it's fine nothing too special and then we also have a brand new lego dreams magazine as well which includes the Matteo minifigure which is quite nice um, i do quite like that uh, backpack as well that is included um, and you can see that it has a lot of translucent uh, pieces that have been used for the character as well which do look really great and they do stand out quite a lot really love the torso printing as well and it has some really really nice leg printing as well with actual dual model legs so that is great to see for a minifigure in a magazine i also really like that new uh, molded hair piece that they've given him as well uh, specific for that character and he also has a really nice face print as well so this is definitely the better magazine in my opinion due to the fact that it does include a really really nice minifigure and also like i said before that jetpack is looking very very cool anyways moving on to lego harry potter we actually have our first images of something that i wasn't really expecting and these are actually these brand new lego harry potter collectible wizard portraits now these are supposed to actually replace the uh, chocolate fruit cards that we uh, initially saw uh, from lego for the lego harry potter 20th anniversary they included them in and they ex uh, essentially had these prints of exclusive wizards and such and there were quite a few of those to collect however now they have replaced them with these which will be rolling out in some of the 2024 sets as you can see um and these are quite good honestly i think that these look really nice uh, there are 14 in total as well at the moment however i assume that they will end up adding more uh, throughout 2025 and 2026 and for as long as they end up keeping these portraits but there are some pretty cool ones obviously i can't really identify every single uh, wizard or witch um, on these portraits but some that i can see you do have each of the founders of uh, gryffindor so you do have uh, salazar slytherin as well as uh, ravenclaw and then you do also have uh, godric gryffindor as well and uh hufflepuff which are great to see you also have a few of the quidditch players and stuff as well some of the famous ones so it is really great there and i think overall it is a really nice replacement um and of course the piece that they are actually using are those next sunlight shield pieces and they will have these really cool prints on them so i really do like that as a whole and then we also did get the official reveal of set 10331 and this is the kingfisher set which includes 834 pieces and will of course be an 18 plus set and is going to be retailing for 50 dollars where it will release on february 1st overall i think this one looks really great um obviously it will be a new sub theme where lego will be introducing these buildable creatures and such and i think this is a pretty strong one to start the sub theme off i think it looks great me personally i'm not into this sort of stuff so i won't be buying it however i know a lot of people who do really like these sort of stuff and i think this is a great one to add to the collection and it also looks really nice as well it's a really nice authentic piece of lego construction in my opinion i think it looks great the pieces that lego have used are really really clever techniques as well as you can see i really love the shaping with all of the wings and the feathers as well i think lego have done an excellent job on that the color scheme i will say is a bit dark uh you know the kingfisher you know it should be a bit more of a lighter tone in my opinion but i think it looks fine i think it blends in quite well so i'm not really going to complain too much about that but here is the back of the box showing the kingfisher at a bit of a different angle but we do have some more pictures of the actual build for those of you who are wondering there is also a lifestyle picture as well which we'll take a closer look at in just a little bit and then it does also show you the measurements as well of the kingfisher it is a pretty wide build uh, however it isn't very tall uh, but i think 50 dollars for this with 834 pieces is a pretty decent price to piece ratio 
However, a lot of these uh, pieces are quite small, however, so that is something that you do need to take into account. But I think that the price isn't too bad. It's not insanely overpriced, in my opinion. Uh, I think that people will definitely be able to live with this pricing. And then here are some of the pictures of the model all built up. As you can see, it does look really great. And one thing that I really do like about this model um, is that it looks great from every angle. I mean, as you can see from this picture, it looks really great. The back as well, it also looks really good. I also love the pieces that they've used there to represent the back of the kingfisher i think that looks really really great there and it also does have a really nice circular stand to it as well which looks really nice and will definitely look great on a display so i think that's great and you know this is a really easy model that you could easily put on a shelf and it will definitely stand out and then we do have this other angle as well of the kingfisher and even at this angle as well it looks really good and that's something that i really really love about this from every single angle it looks really really great you know lego definitely didn't cut with any corners with this model which is something that i really love um, and I think that a lot of people will definitely appreciate that one as well. Um, and then we do also have a lifestyle picture, of course, of the set. Uh, just, just to sort of give you a better look of the model as a whole um, in an actual background instead of just a plain white background, which will be on the screen right now. Uh, and as you can see, it does look quite good. Uh, I do quite like it. Obviously, it's not the, the biggest thing ever. Uh, it is quite small, but it is a really nice detailed model. So I will definitely take it. I think the logo have done a really, really great job on that. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for this little sub theme that LEGO are introducing. I reckon that this one will sell out pretty well. And then we did also get the reveals of the brand new LEGO Britlink designer program sets. So the first one that we have is a Fortress, uh, which is going to retail for $380 or 340 euros. This one looks really good. By far one of the best ones out of all of them. I think that the detailing on this one is really, really great. And it also has some really great building techniques as well used in search as well. Um, and this would definitely look really great alongside the Night Lion Knights Castle. And then next up, we also have the Engine Shed. And this one will retail for $230 and uh, uh, €220. Euros. Uh, this one looks quite good as well. It is a pretty nice built up building, something that I really do like. I think that this one will sell out pretty well. Pretty great one to add as well to like a Lego City which is something that I think a lot of people will end up buying this for. Uh, and for those of you who are wondering, all of these will actually be launching on February 1st. Now, usually 10,000 copies are made of each one of these sets. However, this time I believe it will actually be 30,000. So uh, you will have a better chance to get them. And then next up, we have the general store, which is going to retail for $160 or 140 euros. Really like this one. It's like a little shop. I really like it. Uh, it looks quite nice um, and I think that this would go great as well in a Lego City sort of around a beach area. It looks really, really great there. And then we also have this one as well, which is the Parisian Street, which is going to retail for $320 or 290 euros. This one looks pretty nice. It's a really nice sort of modular style building. However, I don't think it's actually fully closed. As you can see from the windows, uh, you can see the uh, white backdrop. So it's sort of like a half modular, which I think is quite unfortunate. I would have definitely preferred a full-on modular building instead of this. Um, you know, they could have just, you know, made just one building instead of a whole street and, you know, added, um, you know, made it as a full module. I think that would have been a lot better. I think a lot of more people would have definitely preferred that as well. Or they should have made the street a bit more shorter. And then we also have the Snack Shack as well, which is probably the worst one out of all of them. However, it is the smallest one and it still looks pretty good. So I'll take it. And this one will retail for $50 or 45 euros all of them are pretty good looking they all are quite strong as well i could definitely see why all of them did actually get picked um, and then there will also be a bunch of other ones as well that are going to be releasing and all of those will also drop on february 7th as well but those images of those other sets we have seen a while back next we have some lego star wars information with the first set being set 75376 the tantive 4 this is the mini scale one and we have a bit of updated information regarding the set. So this one will include 654 pieces and will retail for a price of $70 where it will measure 12.5 inches long. And the set will include a stand, a nameplate and a Lego Star Wars 20th, uh, 25th anniversary brick. So I'm pretty excited to see that one. And then the next set that we have is an update on set 75375, the Millennium Falcon midi scale set this will include 921 pieces so it will have uh, about 300 pieces more then the tentative 4 it will retail for 80 dollars so it is only 10 dollars more expensive and it will uh, measure 10 inches wide and includes a standard nameplate and it also has that lego star wars 25th anniversary brick 
Really looking forward to seeing that 25th anniversary brick there. I can't wait to see the print on that. I assume it will be a print. I don't think LEGO will actually have that as a sticker due to the fact that it will be distributed across quite a few sets and it's not just one. And also, I think they will end up getting a lot of uh, complaints if they end up uh, having it as a sticker instead of an actual print. But I don't think LEGO will uh, stoop that low. I think that they definitely will include it as a print as because, like I said before, it will be in quite a few sets. So it just makes it a lot more convenient if they had it as a print instead of having it as a sticker. Uh, because some of these sets might not actually have any stickers and that might be the only sticker included if it is. Uh, and then we also have some information regarding a brand new LEGO Star Wars set uh, to add to the collection being 675374, the Onyx uh, Signer. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this is actually the ship from the Skeleton Crew, which is a brand new LEGO Star Wars show, I think, on Disney, uh, coming to Disney+. Plus. Uh, it will include 1,325 pieces, where it will retail for $130. I think the original rumor was it was $140. No, it's actually $10 G, uh, cheaper. And also, the original rumor was that it was going to release for January of 2024. But no, it did get delayed. It is now releasing for June of 2024. Depending on the actual show's release, this could also get delayed. But uh, I think it's safe, uh, safe to assume for now it should hopefully release for June of 2024. There's not really too many excuses for it to get delayed. So really, I'm hoping on that. And then we did also get our first teaser for LEGO Peppa Pig. Yes, the theme is finally coming. And unfortunately, I think it is actually a Duplo theme because this was actually posted uh, by one of the LEGO uh, Instagram uh, sites and they did actually put hashtag Lego Duplo so that is very unfortunate and also they are using Duplo books as well so uh, in the teaser uh, but yeah I was really looking forward to seeing a full-on proper Lego scaled uh, Peppa Pig's house but yeah that's not happen happening and then we do also have uh, the uh, new Lego ideas wave uh, which are the sets that are going to be reviewed in the next coming wave uh, for 2024 and these sets will probably be released in 2025 or 2026 now there are a lot of great ones on here you know you've got the the simpsons one i don't think they'll do that however because we already have a simpsons quickie mart uh, they've got the finney's and ferb set which i really hope wins and then they also have the uh, willy wonka set from charlie and the chocolate factory that's another one i really hope to win as well but I think we all know the drill now with LEGO Ideas. The sets that we all want to win, they never win. So there's no point in hoping. They're probably going to pick, you know, the, the most boring um, idea submissions, you know. So I wouldn't really get your hopes up if, if I'm being completely honest with you. Especially with uh, how the previous wave just went down and the sets that ended up being picked in the end. But there we go, everyone. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If you did enjoy, then why not subscribe? as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be down in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of the latest lego news that we've covered in today's video i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye